create stunning AI photos instantly with just one selfie using Hyperbooth AI. This app revolutionizes image to image photo creation, turning selfies into genuine photorealistic studio looking AI photo masterpieces fast with unmatched ease. Other AI image generators often falter when it comes to transforming your selfie photos into professional quality photos via image to image. But dive into Hyperbooth AI's magic by uploading a single portrait photo, choosing a template and voila! Instantly, Hyperbooth delivers studio grade AI enhanced portrait photos tailored to your specifications. Let's check out how to use Hyperbooth AI, the best image to image selfie to studio AI transformation app. To get access to Hyperbooth AI image to image, just Google up Hyperbooth AI and come to the first results. And here we are on the homepage, create stunning AI photos instantly with just one selfie. We have 200 different styles to choose from and here are some examples that we have in the past. So here is the selfie that was uploaded to Hyperbooth AI and here is the result. So we can see the original selfie of that person, um, you know, not a high quality photo, but the result is a high quality studio photo just from that selfie that was uploaded. So that's fantastic. Coming on down a bit further, all you need to do is upload one selfie and you can use your input photo to get any result like these. Comparing to other AI image generators out there, Hyperbooth AI is better with photorealism, creative photo style and maintains ethnicity and is clear and sharp. Whereas some of these other ones can't tick all those boxes. So Hyperbooth AI definitely claims to be far superior in these areas and we're gonna find out just how superior it is in this video. Click up here to sign up and you can do that using the credentials from either your Discord logins, your Google or Facebook logins, or even just use your email address. It's absolutely free to sign up and you can get up to 20 free photos every day during the promotion period, but only for the first seven days after signing up. So I've already created accounts, so I'm gonna log in using my email address. We come to the main user interface of Hyperbooth AI and you can see we're presented with different styles. So again, we have 200 different templates to choose from. And the idea is that once you choose a style, you can then go ahead and upload a photo and have your selfie turned into one of these photos via AI image to image. Just having a quick browse of the variety of different styles and templates we have to choose from. Everything from different types of artwork, 3D caricatures, anime, game art, professional corporate, or even white wedding. Even go ahead and give yourself a graduation photo. And the list goes on and on. Let's go ahead though and choose professional urban park charm. So that was the choose style section. This is the personalized section where we upload a photo and adjust some settings. We can see up the top here, we have our user menu and number of credits that we have, and then a start generating button. So there's a little bit of a guide here as to what kind of selfie to use. We wanna use a frontal portrait, not from the side or with multiple people in it. And you don't wanna have yourself where your face is too small relative to the rest of the photo. Don't cover it with your hand or sunglasses or a hat even, and no unnatural expressions. And of course, no nudity. So I do have a photo that I've uploaded before, but we're gonna start with a fresh new selfie that I've just taken. Here is that selfie. Yes, it satisfies all the requirements. It's front on, no unnatural expressions, and my face takes up a large proportion of the image. So let's go ahead and upload that. It really is important to use the best quality selfie that you can, as this will give you the greatest chance to get the best possible result with Hyperbooth AI image to image. And in the frequently asked questions section, we can see it emphasizes these guidelines for what type of photo or selfie to upload. And another one to note here is it should not be fuzzy. It needs to be nice and clear. The last step for this section is to choose an aspect ratio. So we've got the different ratios and then what configuration they are, whether that be portrait or landscape. So we'll go with two, three portrait for this one. So at the moment in this promotion period, this is a free generation. So let's go ahead and generate that. So now this is the generate section and we have four photos being generated, which is great because it's gonna give us four different options to choose from. And we've even got a countdown timer, which is great. You don't see that in other AI image to image generator programs. We'll speed up this timer for the purposes of the video. Awesome, and the results have come through. Well, straight away I can see that the quality of the image is super high. The detail is amazing. Look at the detail in that jacket. Looking at all four of these images, they're all very crisp and sharp. Out of the four images here, I think this one looks the most like me. Of course, I've got a different haircut. Actually, I don't mind that style for me. In all of these examples, it's giving me a smile and it doesn't actually know what my teeth look like from my selfie image that I sent. So maybe later I'll use a different photo with me actually smiling and see how it does with that. I do love the blurred background. It really does look like I'm in a park there. So that's pretty good. Let's compare my selfie with the result and we can see it's done a pretty good job with the nose and my eyes here are looking much better. It's done a really good job with matching my ears. Obviously my hairstyle is very different and my beard is groomed a lot nicer. 
so it really does look like it's a photo taken with a beautiful camera and perhaps a little bit of light photoshopping done. See all my blemishes are gone and my skin is nice and smooth here. From here I can either redo the output or try a new style. I'll use that same photo from before and generate. Great, here's another set of results and they're all looking quite nice. In fact, all three of these are passable for looking like me, particularly this one here. Look at that sharp suit I'm wearing. This one here is actually probably looking the most like me and it's interesting seeing my hair like this. I wonder if I can actually grow it and style it like that. It's actually pretty good. I think this is my favorite out of all of them. So from here, I can either download the photo straight away or upscale this to HD. There we go, that's now HD. So that's a really crisp, high quality, high resolution photo. I'd actually be pretty happy to put that somewhere on my LinkedIn. I would note that it's an AI image though. Okay, so from there I can just download the image, that's downloaded, and then I can go and use that for whatever purposes I want. Okay, let's now try a new style with that same photo. So first I need to choose a new style. We've also got this create a custom style where you can type in your own text prompt, but we'll come back to this later. And let's go ahead this time and choose beach wedding. We we'll use that same photo, click generate. Even while that's loading, I can go to try a new style and create a concurrent generation while I'm waiting for that one to load. Okay, let's compare it with the AI yearbook option. We'll choose that same photo and click generate. Over in our generation screen, you can see that this photo is already generated while these ones are generating. So let's take a look at these ones here. The first two and the last one are looking quite good. This one here is looking a little bit unnatural with the outline around my hair there. But out of the four of them, I think this one looks probably the most like me. So that's looking good. Or maybe that one. So I'll go ahead and HD that one. That's now HD and download. Moving on to the AI yearbook examples. And you can see the quality of all these images are really amazing. I'll show you later a comparison with other AI image to image generators just to see how far advanced this one is compared to that. I'd probably say out of the four of these, I'd go with this one as one that looks most like me. And again, a different hairstyle than the other styles. So at any stage here, I can jump between choosing a style or coming to my photo history. So for the next example, I'm gonna upload a different selfie and choose a different style. We'll do one of these fun examples later, but for this next example, I wanna choose one that's looking a little bit more professional. So let's choose this one actually, looks quite fun. And this is a still image I've taken from the video that I've recorded for this particular YouTube video. So it's taken with a good camera with a nice lens. It's actually looking like quite a professional photo as it is. And then go ahead and generate. While that's loading, I'm going to choose another style. Let's go with this one here. We'll use that same photo and click generate. And you can see again, we have two batches of generations going on and we'll look at the results as they come in. Okay, you can see it's a completely different look. I'm looking like a war hero here, maybe even older than what I actually am. Moving on to this last generation here. I'd probably say that out of the four of them, this one here looks the most like me. And again, if I wanted to try another run, I could just try that style yet again. Moving on to one of these fun styles, let's go ahead and choose the Cyberpunk Tactical Vanguard. Use that same photo and generate that one. Let's see how we go. This one here is looking the most like me. The great thing is that you can choose between doing some styles that emulate what you look like in real life, but putting you in a different theme, such as in the park or at the wedding, you know, the yearbook, old school vintage, studio shoot, and some fun ones like cyberpunk. But now we're gonna go ahead and use a photo of someone else. We're gonna use my friend who's given me explicit permission to use this selfie in this video. Why don't we go ahead and choose this outdoor summit success. Let's upload the photo. So this is my friend, it satisfies all the requirements of the selfie photo, so I'll upload that. This time let's go with 16 by nine aspect ratio and generate that. Okay, here's the results. Wow, yeah, they're all actually really quite believable and they're looking a lot like my friend, particularly this one here. So I think he'd be happy with that one there. Let's try another example. Here we go, I think he'll like this one here. <laughs> so choose that same selfie. Yeah, we'll go with widescreen again, show the boat. He's looking a million dollars here. Let's go with the one that looks the most like him. Probably that one there, I like that. Yeah, let's go with this one here. <laughs> Love it. It's HD it and send it over. Before I go ahead and show you how you can create a custom style, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare Hyperbooth AI image to image with the results of a different AI image generator. We're gonna compare it with Playground AI, which is a great free AI image generator program, which you can see all about in this video here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the image to image section and upload this photo here. I'm then gonna give it the prompt of professional corporate studio photo with a gray suit jacket. I'm gonna choose four variants and then see what it comes back with. 
Okay, straight away we can see it's given us the result that we've wanted with the studio photo with this gray suit jacket, but the image is looking absolutely nothing like me. Okay, let's try that again, but this time I've set the image strength to about 50 and I'll go ahead and generate that. Now this time it's actually mixed the studio look with the actual look in this recording studio I have here with the lights. So it's a bit of a fail there. And not only that, again, it looks absolutely nothing like me. Let's compare it with a different AI image generator, which is Leonardo AI. And we'll use that same prompt, so we'll go ahead and generate. Okay, and it looks like Leonardo AI also suffers from the same problems that Playground AI did in that it's produced results that look absolutely nothing like me, and it's mixed my photo too much with my actual prompt. So when comparing Hyperbooth AI with Playground AI and Leonardo AI, Hyperbooth is a clear winner. It gives the best creative outcomes thanks to the pre-trained thematic templates it has. In ease of making your first AI photo, I want to rate it definitely a five out of five. It's so quick to get started and create your first photo. It's quite easy to make images hyper fast. So in terms of speed, I wanna give it five out of five. And last for creative templates, I personally like Yacht Evening Soiree and the Summit Success. So I'd love to see some more styles around these themes. So after seeing these results, I give Hyperbooth a massive thumbs up. Go ahead and create your first AI photo using hyperbooth.ai. Okay, coming back to the create a custom style, and this is actually gonna be a paid feature later on, but we'll quickly run through it. Let's go with this one. We seem to be having more success with that selfie. Sitting in an empty cinema eating popcorn. That's awesome, I love it. Actually, that's a really cool look. Probably all four of them are usable. Let's have a look at all of them individually. Okay, which one looks the most believable like me? Probably that one there. That's a huge bowl of popcorn though. This one's also pretty good. Actually, that one's the best effect. I like that because it looks the most like me and the wide angle lens really shows that popcorn bucket being huge. I'm actually really impressed with this result. So you can see that with Hyperbooth AI, you can mix and match between having some professional looking photos or use some fun styles, such as being a cyberpunk hero, or even something as simple as sitting in a cinema like this. I use a lot of real photos of me when creating thumbnails for my YouTube videos, but I can really see myself using Hyperbooth AI to create scenes such as this to be on topic with the theme of the video that I'm producing. If AI generated images from photos wasn't enough for you, then check out this video next to see all about the power of AI generated video with Sora. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.